came here. Over here, right here. They're the lines, they're eight lines. nine bodies on the floor. Yeah, Over lines. here. Nine bodies. So what they done? Look, they closed that bit off there. They, 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 look, they're hiding stuff. Here, they're hiding stuff. You know why? I've got a friend who works for the fire brigade here in Labour Grove, yeah? Yesterday on the phone, he said they found about 42 bodies in one room, all hiding together. No one knows yeah. that. It's only because yeah. we know the brother, he's a fireman, yeah, fireman. That, he, that he told us this. But he can't, one, yeah, yeah. he can't tell you, he yeah, can't, can't come out and tell you, yeah. tell you look that. Do you understand? He can't come out because yeah. you'll probably get the suck or something. Yeah. But they said they found 42 bodies one in one room, bro. In one room, from children to old people. Do you understand? But they're not going to tell you that. Look, I'll tell you this straight, yeah? There's about, there's about 42 families that we know that live in there that have gone. So imagine the rest. And these are because we know them because they're Moroccan. Yeah, we know them, yeah. Because they're Moroccan yeah. like us. That's why we know them. You they know come to the youth centre. They come to youth centre. Yeah, they come to the, the kids come to the youth centre and yeah. the families come to the mosques. And that. that's why we know. But they're not letting you, they're not telling you all that. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. But you know what they said? And that's the, that's the worst thing about it, not having the they truth. Said, everyone there, no one, no one died by getting burned. Everyone died first because of the smoke. Inhaling the smoke. We've got one of our uh, 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 family, the girl, she, they bring her out, they took her to, her to the hospital. She's in a coma, yeah, because of the smoke. One of them, they started uh, blood coming out from her nose. Yeah, blood coming out from her nose. If you, don't want, if you don't want the real story, you have to go to the people that live here and know people. And we were here in the beginning. Do you understand? You've got to go to the people, you've got to go to the people that were coming out of the mosque and running up the building and the police stopping them from going up the building. And yet they still went up there and got people out. You understand? There was disabled people. There's disabled people on, on the high, on the highest floors. You need to know when they like live here. When we ran out the guy, the, the disabled guy, when we ran the disabled guy, what's good? It was him, his wife, and his three kids. He came out. He came out. He was disabled. He said, "I don't know how I made it from the other floor." He came out. We took him to the rugby club. After that, they put him in a hotel. Put him in a hotel. We went to see him in the hotel. He said they've given us no food, no water, no clothes, no time, nothing for two days until we went there and we gave him. Do you want to hear something? Do you want to hear something charity? else funny? You know the water on the top floor stopped working. There was no water on the top floors. You yeah. know, you know that because why? Everyone's trying to open water to wet up the towels. Wet up the towels. Yeah. Because everyone's doing it. There was no 